Hi, my name is Christine Caldwell and I'm a member of the Young Academy of Scotland. At present, I'm a senior lecturer in psychology at the University of Stirling. My job involves teaching, which involves giving lectures and marking coursework and exams, and also research, which involves designing and running experiments, analysing the results of those experiments, and communicating the findings in the form of scientific reports and oral presentations. I use a wide range of numeracy skills in carrying out all of these daily tasks. One of these skills is that I can use my understanding of numbers less than zero to solve simple problems in context. Research psychologists always need to find ways of quantifying behaviour and sometimes things are even harder to observe directly, such as attitudes or emotional responses. This is so that we can find ways to test our theories about what influences these things, knowing that we have ways of measuring the effects. And sometimes this involves using numbers less than zero. For example, one of my current research students has been looking at the role of learning in behavioural mimicry in capuchin monkeys. We're testing, first of all, to see whether the monkeys share our human bias for mimicry, finding it easier to produce a response that matches one that they see another individual perform compared with an alternative non-matching response. So, for example, if you had to respond to my hand opening gesture with the same hand opening gesture, you would probably find that easier and perform it more quickly than if you had to respond to my hand opening gesture with a closed fist gesture. And we can test this in the monkeys too by asking them to respond to the action performed by an experimenter such as touching an object with the mouth or the hand with either a matching or non-matching response. And in our experiments we can code matching responses as positive, so greater than zero, and non-matching ones as negative, less than zero. And this allows us to quantify the overall bias towards mimicry and track increases and decreases in this bias to investigate the effects of experience. In addition, in research with human participants, I often make use of questionnaire data to measure opinions and personality traits. And this often involves numbers less than zero too. We usually code participants' responses from a negative extreme, such as minus two for a strongly disagree, up to plus two for a strongly agree with zero representing a neutral opinion if the participant selected neither agree nor disagree. I use this skill in everyday life too, outside of my job. For example, if I want to know roughly how cold it will be today and whether I might need my hat and scarf, it's useful to me to be able to quickly calculate the difference between the temperature from yesterday's weather forecast, which might have been five degrees, and today's forecast, say minus two degrees. Knowing how to perform calculations using numbers less than zero allows me to work out that today it is seven degrees colder than it was yesterday, and yes, I will probably need my hat. Numeracy matters to me because as a psychologist, I know that it's very easy to be misled by our subjective interpretations of behavior. And that's why psychological research involves objectively quantifying the things we're interested in. Because of this, it's really important that I have the skills to analyze and interpret this numerical data effectively. Mm -hmm.